you've been anywhere close to the internet in recent times, I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos with that very annoying and very repetitive voice all over the place. Let me give you an example. I am an overly confident voice found on every second YouTube short, Instagram reel and whatever else these days. Well, in this video, I am not going to show you how to generate audio using that voice because it is annoying as hell and the internet does not deserve a single more video with that voice in it. In fact, I'm going to show you a tool which can generate tons and tons of voices for every single occasion you can think of. The tool in question is 11labs.io and it is very simple to use, very cheap as well. In fact, you can get most of the functionality for free these days and I will show you every step of the way to get there. As always, let's start off with navigating ourselves to the tool itself. Let's type in 11labs.io into your favorite web browser. As soon as you reach the page, you can actually start generating voice right away. You, can't, you don't even need to log in. All you need to do is select the language that you want to transcribe your audio to, which I will stick to English for the purpose of this video. Then you select a voice from the list of predefined voices out there. However, we will be able to create our own voices in just a couple of minutes and give it some text to say. I'm just going to copy a bit of the text which I found on this website, just for the purpose of this example. Give it a couple of seconds to generate the voice and click the play button to see what's been generated for you. Convert text to speech online for free with our AI voice generator. As you can see, you can already press the download button at the right hand side of the screen and you basically get your voiceover already done. Now in this free example tier that we're looking at right now, we only get 400 characters to use, which is not a lot if you want to transcribe a whole video. So what we want to do is actually sign up for the tool and see what it offers. As with most of those kind of tools, we either can log in using Google or our email address. I'm going to use Google because it's easier and within a couple of seconds, I'm already in the main tool. As you can see, we have 2,500 characters that we can transcribe in one go, which is a lot better than what we had a second ago. All right, it seems like it's caught me red-handed because I have used this tool from this same computer on another account for free and it doesn't seem like it likes me using it for free more than once which is fair enough. So I'm gonna have a look at the subscriptions which are available to me. Of course, you won't have to do this because hopefully you're gonna be using this only in one account, whereas I already did this and now it wants me to pay up. The good thing is, however, that as you can see in the list of different account types, the free one has quite a lot already built in. So we have 29 languages using thousands of unique voices, translate content with automatic dubbing, so we can translate it into a lot of other languages. We can create custom voices, and we have API access. For $5 a month, and actually just $1 for the first month, you get access to the starter pack, which gives you 30,000 characters per month, and gives you the option to clone your voice with as little as one minute of audio. So basically, you'll input a piece of audio that you've created with your own voice, and you can clone it so that you don't have to speak anymore in the future. You just type in your text and it says everything for you. Great. And then we have a couple of more expensive tools, which have a few more features, but we're going to stick to those two free ones. So most of the stuff we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be done with the free account, except for the cloning of my voice, because I kind of want to show you how that's done. All right, so now we're back in the tool again, and I'm just going to double check if what we saw in the beginning is still valid to us. So I'm going to use the Clyde voice, and convert this piece of text into voice and see how it does. Convert text into lifelike speech using a voice of your choice. Kind of a deep and unsettling voice, but fair enough. Let's see what else we can do. So we can download the audio that we've created as before. And the cool thing is that we can obviously choose another voice. So we'll choose Serena for this one and see how she sounds. Convert text into lifelike speech using a voice of your choice. And then we can also configure a couple of the settings of the voice itself. So if we click into voice settings, we see the first selection, which gives us the option to choose the model that we're using. So we have 11 English V1, which is the first one. Then we have 11 Turbo V2, which is just a bit faster, I believe. And then we have two multilingual models, which allow us to obviously select one of the many, many languages that are out there, including Japanese, Chinese, Polish, German, 
French, etc. To be fair, I usually use the 11 multilingual V2 for some reason. I just find it pretty alright for most of the things I do. And then you can play around with some of the settings. So there's stability, similarity, and style exaggeration. So the one which makes the biggest difference is the stability. You can go from more variable to more stable, and the more variable is, well, it jumps around in terms of the pitch and how the voice sounds. The more stable goes a bit flat and very equal in every second of the speech. So let's try those two options out. First, I'm gonna set more stable all the way to 100% and see how it sounds. Convert text into lifelike speech using a voice of your choice. Right, as expected, very, very flat, but at the same time quite professional. So if you need it for some kind of training materials at work, maybe that's the voice you want to choose. But let's see what happens if we give it 0% stability, which sounds dangerous, but bear with me. Convert text into lifelike speech using a voice of your choice. Right, so she fluctuates a little bit between the high pitches and the low pitches but kind of similar, but at the same time a bit maybe friendlier and more relatable than the previous voice. So what you want to do is just play around with all those little toggles and see what works best for you. Right, next up is the voice library. And this is a list of different voices that people have created in the past and are happy to share. Each of the voices has a couple of tags next to them, so you can kind of see what they're all about. And you can click the sample button just to hear how the voice sounds, so you can decide if you want to use it or skip to the next one. So let's have a look at this Diogo Azevedo, which is Portuguese and confident. Let's have a look. Rugas deveriam apenas indicar onde sorrisos já estiveram. Well, I guess that's Portuguese, and it sounds confident, so two out of two. Now let's see Booker, the story man. Carmela agreed with a nod of her head toward the young girl, then turned and sounds like every single audiobook I've ever heard, which is great if you want to create an audiobook. And, and you can definitely do that with 11 Labs. In fact, there's a whole project section where you can actually input a PDF or an EPUB or Mobi or whatever other extension for text files you have, and it will basically generate a chunk of audio for you if you want to listen to that on the go, or if you actually want to create an audiobook for sale purposes. All right, but how did all these people actually create those voices, you ask? Well, let's flip over to the Voice Lab tab, which is right next to the Voice Library, and you can see that there's a couple of ways to create your voice. So the first one is Voice Design, which basically allows you to customize a voice and make it sound the way you want it to. Then you have Instant Voice Cloning, which is basically inputting a piece of audio or video of your own or, or somebody's voice that you have rights to and it will create a voice based on that. Then you have voice library which basically means what we just did which is pull somebody else's voice out and use it for your own purposes. And then we have something called professional voice cloning which is only available to Creator Plus which is too expensive for me and I will not even bother. So let's start off with the voice design and basically you have just a few settings that you can set up which is the gender age and accent and i'm gonna select a female young and british and let's see what she sounds like generates a couple of seconds and first we thought the pc was done. a calculator then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter that voice sounds kind of familiar to me for some reason but let's continue with the creation and it's already given the tags of young female and british and we can give it a name and i'm just gonna give it a random name off the top of my mind. All right, let's call it Emma Watson. Let me do just one more check before we head on, because I really feel like she does sound like Emma Watson. If you've ever watched Harry Potter, I'm sure you recognize this line. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. Yes, I think I was correct. I think that is Emma Watson. It does sound almost exactly like the line from Harry Potter. I think the first episode. All right, let's now go to the second option, which is the voice cloning. And basically, as I said before, and basically what you'll want to do is input a bit of audio from your library and let AI do the magic. So I have a little bit of audio from my previous video, which I've downloaded. And yes, I will. I hereby confirm that I have all necessary rights or consent to upload and clone these voices. 
that is my voice so i think i will give myself the rights i'll just call it me and add voice give it a couple of seconds it's it needs to actually transcribe the whole audio and create a voice so i'm still surprised at how quick it does all that work now let's try and hear what i would say if i was hermione in harry potter now if you two don't mind i'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse expelled mm, all right i'm not sure if it was exactly me but i think it was pretty close but you be the judge of that leave a comment and tell me what you think all right i'm gonna play around with the toggles a little bit just to see if i can get it any closer um, I'm gonna change the similarity because the higher the similarity is, the closer my voice will be to what I've uploaded. But it will also include some of the background noises which you could have heard in the audio, which unfortunately I think there was a little bit of. So I'm gonna set the similarity to 50% and I'm gonna generate the voice again. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. I feel like that was a little bit closer, but let's play with the stability now and I'll place it at around 3. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. All right, I'll stop playing around at this point, but I feel like I'm getting closer to the actual voice. But I wouldn't mind actually using that voice for any shorts or videos in the future because I feel like it is quite similar and if I tinker around enough around that voice, I think I'll actually get there. Right, the next thing I wanted to show you is if you have made a YouTube video like I'm doing right now, and you wanted to change the language in which you're making that video, well, 11 Labs is your answer because all you need to do is upload your video or share your YouTube URL or, well, if it's TikTok or Twitter or anything else, you can just paste that link to that video in and 11 Labs will download it, it will convert it, it will transcribe it and then translate it. So, so I'll let it detect the language that I'm speaking in. Let's see if it figures it out. I hope it does. It will be embarrassing if it doesn't. And I'll transcribe it into German and I will click create and it will take a bit of time. In fact, I've actually sped up this process by 15 times. So it does take a little bit of time, but it does get the job done and it's enough time to get yourself a tea or any other drink and here we are we've got the dubbed video was ist die beste möglichkeit ein wenig extra geld auf deinem konto auszugeben nun es gibt wahrscheinlich mehr antworten auf diese frage als menschen auf der welt aber wenn du fragst für mich ist der beste weg dies zu tun einen kleinen ausflug and so here's a video of me speaking in a foreign language being both angry and a little bit frightening i think so i think it's fair to say that this is german but if you are a german speaker please leave a comment and tell me if this voice that is actually done for me is it actually saying anything correct in German? Because I'd love to know. But last thing I wanted to show you is speech to speech, which is yet another feature, which allows you to upload a video of yourself. So I'm gonna upload a part of my last video again, and then I can select a voice that I wanted to use, and it will just transcribe the whole video that I've done with my voice into somebody else's voice, including all the gaps and spaces uh, in the way I'm intonating my text so it's kind of cool so all right i am actually going to use that annoying internet voice and it's actually called adam if you were interested please don't be what is the best way to spend a little extra cash in your account well there's probably more answers to that question than there are people in the world but if you ask me the best way to do it is to go on a little trip away from home and all right it's actually not as annoying as i expected in the first place but there you go that's the speech to speech functionality which is there if you can't be bothered to actually type out the text that you're trying to say and you feel like just recording yourself and transcribing it into a different voice, which I think is quite useful actually, especially if for some reason you don't want to actually use your own voice on an internet video. Anyways, that was 11labs.io. I really hope you find it useful for your own purposes and let me know if you want to know anything more about it and we can dig a little bit deeper next time. Thank you very much, I'll see you next time.